Okay. Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. I say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. And hey Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Ain't got nothing else for you right now, kid. You just finished the job. Take a break for a while. You earned it. and British Air Forces of the German city of Dresden continues to take its toll. Fires lit by thousands of bombs continue to burn with seemingly no end in sight as this major Nazi transportation and communication center is reduced to rubble. The entire city is reportedly in flames and civilian casualties are expected to be high. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Afternoon. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, 
We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria and Yellow. Here's the address. Tell her I say it. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. So what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll Good see luck, you. Vito. Yeah, so long, buddy. Delta Radio. Yeah.